<laughs> Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, angle bisector AD as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, AD is equal to this segment uh, CD. And this uh, angle uh, DCA is uh, 30 degrees. And the area of this uh, white uh, triangle uh, ADC has been given to us uh, as uh, 3 times square root of 3 centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded right triangle uh, ABD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with three different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And now let's focus on this uh, white uh, triangle uh, ADC. And we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length. So therefore, uh, this angle must be equal to this angle. Both of them are congruent. So therefore, if this angle is 30 degrees, then this angle has got to be 30 degrees as well. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. Here, this angle uh, C is our exterior angle, whereas uh, these two opposite uh, interior angles A and B such that uh, this exterior angle C is going to be equal to A plus B. Therefore, in our case, uh, this angle uh, ADB is going to be our exterior angle, and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angles, uh, 30 degrees plus 30 degrees uh, is going to give us uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, our this angle turns out to be 60 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, green uh, right triangle uh, ABD. We know this angle is uh, 90 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and we know some of these uh, all interior angles equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, angle has got to be 30 degrees. And now we are going to think outside the box. So therefore, I have dropped uh, this perpendicular DE on this uh, side uh, AC as you can see. Now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, white uh, triangle uh, ADC is an isosceles uh, triangle and this is uh, our perpendicular. So therefore uh, this perpendicular DE is going to divide uh, this whole uh, side AC into two equal parts. This segment uh, AE is going to be equal to this segment uh, C E. So therefore we conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, A E D is going to be congruent to this uh, other right triangle uh, C E D according to side 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 uh, congruency theorem. And we know the whole uh, this triangle uh, area is uh, 3 times square root of 3. And since uh, this uh, triangle has been divided into two congruent uh, triangles, so therefore the area of this uh, triangle is going to be half of that one that is going to be 3 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 centimeter square. And likewise the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 3 times square root of 3 divided by 2 as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AED. We know this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 30 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, green uh, triangle uh, ABD and this uh, triangle uh, AED. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two triangles uh, AED and this green triangle ABD are our congruent uh, triangles according to angle uh, side angle congruency theorem. And since uh, these two triangles are congruent, so their areas are going to be equal as well. If this area is uh, 3 times square root of 3 divided by 2, then the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be 3 times square root of 3 divided by 2 centimeter square. 
So that's the area of this uh, green uh, triangle. Uh, ABD turns out to be 3 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 2 centimeter square by using the very fast uh, method. And now I'm going to share with you the second method. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's focus on this uh, special uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle and 90 degrees uh, is our largest. So therefore uh, the side opposite to this smallest angle is going to be our smallest uh, leg. And the leg uh, opposite to this uh, largest angle is going to be our longest uh, leg. And this leg is also called hypotenuse. So therefore in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, this uh, longest leg is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg. In other words, uh, if this smallest leg is 1, then this uh, longest uh, leg is going to be 2. And this uh, third leg is going to be square root of uh, 3. So therefore, in general, uh, if this smallest leg is uh, x, then this uh, longest leg is going to be 2 times uh, x. And this uh, third leg has got to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now we are going to apply this uh, rule on our this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABD. So therefore we can see that this is our smallest leg and this is uh, going to be our longest leg which is our hypotenuse. So therefore if this uh, leg is uh, x then this uh, longest leg is going to be 2 times uh, x uh, and this uh, third leg has got to be x times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now we know that this uh, side length uh, AD equal to this side length uh, CD. If this side length is 2x, uh, then CD length is going to be 2x uh, as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, straight angle is uh, 180 degrees. And this uh, angle is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining angle is going to be 120 degrees. And now let's focus once again on this uh, white triangle uh, ACD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, A times B times uh, sine of angle uh, C. As you can see in this uh, given diagram, these are our two side lengths uh, A and B and C is the angle in between. So therefore our these uh, two side lengths are going to be 2x uh, and 2x the angle between them is uh, 120 degrees and furthermore the area of this uh, triangle has been given to us as 3 times square root of 3 centimeter square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so our area has been given to us as uh, 3 times uh, square root of 3 is going to be equal to a half uh, times our one side length is uh, 2x the other side length is 2x uh, as well times our sine of uh, angle 120 degrees and we know the sine 120 degree value is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 over here as you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted this uh, value over here and now let's simplify we can see this 2 is gone with this 2 this 2 is gone with this 2 and this uh, square root of 3 is gone with this uh, square root of 3 so therefore we are ended up with the uh, x square equals to 3 and now we are going to undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore we can see that our x value turns out to be positive uh, square root of uh, 3 and since our x value turns out to be square root of 3 so therefore I'm going to replace this x by square root of 3 likewise this uh, this uh, and this over here so therefore uh, this side is going to become 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 this side is going to become uh, square root of uh, 3 and likewise uh, this uh, length is going to become 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 and finally this side uh, is going to be x is square root of 3 and then uh, times uh, square root of 3 once again and if we multiply these one that is going to give us simply 3 and now we are going to compare these uh, two triangles this green triangle uh, ABD and this uh, white triangle uh, ADC 
And now let's make an observation. We can see the height uh, of both uh, of these uh, triangle uh, is same. This is uh, their height. And moreover, the base of this uh, white triangle uh, is uh, two times uh, the base of this uh, green uh, triangle. Since this is 2x and this is 1x. So therefore, we conclude that the area of this uh, green triangle is going to be half the area of this uh, white triangle uh, ADC, as you can see in this uh, equation. And we know the area of this uh, white triangle is 3 times square root of 3. So I'm going to replace 3 times square root of 3 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have substituted this uh, area over here. So therefore, the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABD turns out to be 3 times square root of 3 divided by 2 centimeter square by using the second method as well. And here's our third method. And now finally let's focus on this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABD. And we are going to calculate the area of this triangle now. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is equal to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, the base of this green triangle is uh, square root of 3. And the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 3. So therefore, the area of this uh, green triangle is going to be a half uh, times uh, square root of 3 times uh, 3. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 3 times square root of 3 divided by 2 centimeter square. Thus, the area of this uh, green triangle turns out to be 3 times square root of 3 divided by 2 centimeter square by using the third method as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.